Thailand is known for being friendly, right? But these people are the friendliest people I've ever met, I think. So I So I'm very, very excited to finally be showing you Petbury town. It's a place that I've been meaning to come and film for months. If you follow me, I did a live stream here. You guys told me to come back. So I'm back today and I'm really, really excited to show you all of the unique food that this town, this province has to offer. We're going to be starting first in a hundred plus year old market. We're going to be getting some really unique noodles, but the whole day is going to be packed full of unique street food. So please, for your own good, don't go anywhere. Let's go. So how Petbury doesn't get more tourists is absolutely beyond me. It has everything a town needs, so I has everything a town needs to be a tourist destination. It's got a river, which I absolutely love. It's got old heritage buildings, amazing street art. Take a little alleyway next to the river and it leads down all these old sort of Thai houses into a little covered market, which is absolutely incredible. Take a look. Oh, so we've got Kanun. So what do you got? Majak Petbury. Okay. Kibana? How do I have? Oh, my pen. Thank you. Thank you. I put Anki King Mark. Cup. And here. Talad. I'll share like up. Limnam. Oh, by the river. Okay. Come and cup. Bye bye. All right, I don't know if it's because I haven't eaten since last night and uh, we were so hungry on the way here, but this jackfruit, this canoe, it's the best I've ever had. Alloy Mark. Alloy, no? Alloy Tisudnay Mung Thai. All right, guys, so we're in this market, Talad Rimnam. Rimnam means by the river, which I'll show you in a minute. But as you walk into the market, there is a Petchaburi dish, a Petbury dish. Don't find this anywhere else. It's Kanom Jin Todman. So Todman Pa, fish cakes. And this is sea fish, Thale. Uh, pa. Pa in sea. So I don't actually know what that is, but I will try and find out in a sec, right? I'll show you these. All right, so everyone knows these, right? Kanom Jin. So these are the fermented fresh rice noodle. And the Todd Mun, quite interesting. Uh, this is Padang. So what do you call Oh, Medang, Medang. Ka, what do you call It's the kind of thing I buy for Joe from the All right, so we've got, we've got the fish, then we've got Paika Pao. So, a la Paika Pao. Um, Tua Fakiao, which are long beans, and Pikeng, come here. Hello, man. <laughs> okay, oh, okay. oh Tim Dai, huh? So she's gonna le let me have a little bit. We'll just buy. Come on, come. As if we're not gonna buy a portion. Oh, mate. Mm. Very, very alloy. Very alloy. Very alloy. Nom nom na, nim nom. No apa, alloy mac. Very very soft, very bouncy, and I've never had fish cakes with fried kapow leaves. So, as you see there, the kapow leaves are on top of the mix, and she's just throwing that all into the fryer. Hopefully, I'll get her to fry some for us in a minute. Um, and then you have them with the kanam jean. We're gonna have them now. We're gonna sit down. These are phenomenal. Um, you'll see. She grabs a little handful. Into the and when they come out, they you see they're really really puffed up, they look massive. Then they sit for a little bit, they rest, and then they go small like these ones and they stay really really bouncy and soft. So we're only talking what a minute. So she grabs a handful, then sticks a leaf to it, and then throws it in, and that's where we get in the fried kapow attached to the kapow kapungap kapum and that's how we get it like attached oh my god this is so good but like, I'm, I'm like as you know i'm like a proper food nerd so i absolutely buzz off stuff like this when like 
Arnie actively comes over to where I am and calls me over saying, we're just about to cook it. Do you want to come and see? Because this for me, as someone who cooks a lot at home, like I know a lot of you do, is absolute gold. But look at this. Yeah? You want it? These look so good. Unbelievable, yeah. doesn't it? Oh, Jimmy, Jimmy's, Jimmy's better half is actually from Petbury. She is. So he knows all the spots, look, right? She's, she's, <laughs> she's, she's given him a list, right? Thank you so, what's your wife's name again? Ning. Ning, I knew that, yeah. Thank you so much. Yes. We're gonna eat everything. And we're gonna have some of that sweet sauce, I guess, on the top. Cap. Couple more cap. I like that. You see, bye. Show me. Show me. You see, bye. Twenty baht. I thought she's winding me up. 50p, guys, that's like 60 cents. Handmade, mind blown, guys, mind blown. All right, and look at where we can eat this, look. Views of those temples, lovely little river, unreal. All right, guys, so as I said, we've got those fermented squidgy rice noodles, those bouncy fish cakes, baika pao fried stuck to each one and then we've got coriander leaves and a load of stems as well which is packed full of flavor and that sweet sort of spicy sour sauce which i think is probably going to be a bit too sweet for me but i'll let her off because i absolutely love her mm. i like this one oh i like this mm. mate it is sweet, the sauce. But where it's palm sugar, it's kind of like, it's got that like butterscotchy kind of sweetness to it, like not like processed white sugar kind of taste to it. And it's really, really sour as well from the vinegar she's used and really, really spicy as well. From those red hot chilies. Yeah, the, 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 the sourness is kind of balancing the sweet and then obviously you've got the really, really oily mum, Todd Mun, which are the fish cakes. They're very, very oily, but you kind of need that sharpness from the vinegar and the sweetness to kind of cut through that, as well as that spice. The fried, the fried kapow leaf, absolutely genius. Mm. Get a little bit of crunch as well from the green beans that are in there. A little bit of that sort of Thai curry hit from the paste. Mm. And for 50p, that is an absolute joke. So yeah, we'll give this a go. This looks really good. The lady was so lovely. And 20 baht, like Gary said, that is ridiculous. So let's just try one of the fish cakes. You know, they are so fragrant. Let's get some of the Canom Jean. Mm-hmm. That is so tasty. How good is it? See oh what I mean God. about the, 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 the sauce? It's like, it's sweet, but it's not like mad sweet. And then it's really sour, isn't it? Yeah, but I really like that sourness. It's like yeah. a really nice aftertaste. Mmm, they're so fragrant. That is well good. Right, you know what? I was going to try some, try all of it together, look. Ooh. Mmm. That's great, that sauce is a little bit different from normal, right? It's a bit sweet, tangy, spicy, piquant, I think the name, the word is, isn't it, mate? Really, really tasty. I really like to have it with the Canom Gin noodles as well. Usually have it with rice, yeah? But with the Canom Gin noodles, it's very, very tasty. I like that, and the Kapow as well, the crispy Kapow leaf. Fucking genius, isn't it? It's so good. All for 20 baht. Nice. This is, uh, this is unbelievable. This is like stepping back in time 100 years. Beautiful town. How nice is this? Well nice, one of the nicest places. I've been to 
Yeah. Oh no, can you believe those Oreos come here? It's mental, isn't it? I can't believe it. See, while, while mates of mine were working in factories, mate, I used to sit on the, I'd sit on the steps down here whiling away days. People used to say, why haven't you got a mortgage? Because <laughs> I'm here, mate. <laughs> I, can't have I mean, <laughs> this, if you said to me, like, paint your perfect scene of Thailand, I wouldn't think of Koh Phi Phi or Koh Samui or anywhere like that. I would think of this. Riverside town. Absolutely perfect. Kidden. Ah, I'll be on it, guys. Thailand people in Thailand are friendly, but these guys, these guys are like probably the most friendly people I've ever met. Friendliest people I've ever met in my life. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Jagan Sabdana. Bye bye. Okay. This one from Chat Chung Sao. Chat Chung Sao. Yeah, yeah. It's very famous. Wow. This one. It's it's chicken cake. Oh, Shibon cake. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, man. Kopon Makab. Kopon Kab. So that just hits the nail on the head. Like, that guy's just run over and, like, oh, come on, we've, I'll, I'll take these cakes. It's a gift. And he's given us some cakes from Chest and Sour. This is it. This is the stuff I'm talking about, boys. Teddy Kab. Mao Me. Mao Me. Mao Me. Mao Me. Mao Me. Mao Me. Mao Oh, okay. 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 <laughs> right, so this is the beetle nut, is it? Ah, so beetle nut. Get you off your nut. And then you mix it with that, do you? Ah, yes. And this is the... So, most people think what we have for Bai Cha Bo is, um, wh when we wrap and eat them, is beetle nut leaf, but it's not. It's like a cousin. This is a beetle nut leaf. It's got a much stronger flavour and it's... Ah, cop on carb. Wow, and then the paste. Is that what turns their, their mouth red? I think that you have to mix these all together, ayahuasca style. Yeah. And um, that's what happens. Red tea. Come on, come. In India, I come on, come. come. Any buy a liner? Buy. Buy poo. Come. Born. Okay. Come on, come. All right. So there's another really famous place here, guys. Absolute stone cold legend. So this is the local palm sugar, guys. So as I keep saying, palm sugar here is really, really famous. I'll stick up a little bit of footage over the top of when I went to a palm sugar plantation in Petbury. So you can see like the process that goes into it, but this is like top grade, top quality stuff. Oh, okay, so this is mixed with white sugar and this is just a hundred percent. Do you know? My pen. And then you, you, uh, but it and get song pan. Are we going to open a shop together? I said song pan, I don't know. Okay. Come on, come. And then, kao che. Kao che. So this is a really, really famous peppery dish. Uh, with like, what is this flower, what, candle flower water or something? Very, very famous. We'll come back in a sec, guys. I want to show you a little bit more of this alleyway. I want to show you this map that someone's drawn up there. Me on. Me on. Me on, okay. Me on. Is this on? Jimmy knows that this one's the number one. Okay, any any Elena? Alright, so turn it. Hung. 
บัตรสอันนี้เป็นปลาปลาโอเคปลาหวานเออปลาหวานโอเค That is stingray, mate. This is. Yeah. One of them is stingray, and the other one is shrimp. Ah, oh, okay. And you've got like this, like floral ice water that goes on top of the rice, and it's just a very typical dish. And oh my God, look at these spoons. Oh, so I m a t I give it a they give it a nice spoon. Yeah, it's not just that. กินกับกินกับประสบการณ์นะครับอ๋อโอเค one rice one topping yeah okay thank you นะ you know full well I was gonna put everything on one spoon there he knows thank you นะขอบคุณครับ So like this is again why I can't get my head around this isn't a tourist town because everywhere like in the old town of Bangkok they've got for all the famous restaurants like Mae On where we're at now they've got the Thai and the English explaining about about the shops. He's here since 1981. All right, so let's take a look at this, guys. So we've got b a w a n which is sweet fish. We've got turnip and then we've got stingray, right? Which I guess has been doused in flour and deep fried, and then to that we have the rice that's soaked in candle smoke and jasmine flowers, and there's another ah uh, there's another flower or another plant in there called we're just I'm going to call it lang lang flowers, okay? So which is obviously not how you pronounce it, but the kind man told me do not mix. So you take one spoon of rice. And you just put one of these on. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll all eat one different one. Let's uh, let's go. It's very p e t r o b o r y This my missus is going to enjoy your reaction to it, or not? <laughs> which is which? A good question. <laughs> that is uh, sweet fish. That's not a sweet fish. Right. So that's the stingray of the fish. Yeah. Mm. The rice is super super interesting. Not so much the rice, but the I was going to say soup broth, but it's not, is it? The liquid that's on top. It kind of. I know this is going to sound a bit weird, but you're eating candle wax when you're a kid. Oh, right? so it's because it's it's got candle smoke and it's got a kind of like I don't know how else to explain it. It tastes a bit like a candle, like the back. Mm. But it's very perfume from the jasmine flowers as well. Really, really Super refreshing. That the sweet fish is so sweet as well. In, in my mm. bite, I just had. These are great. These are like a little. I like them. A little sort of prawny. I know the stingray, but a little like sort of like fishy. Um, Shrimp ice cream, but they're, they're. What do you call them? Wasabi nuts. They're like wasabi bit. nuts, but. A little bit. Hmm. I know what you mean. You can and taste. Try it. You got dried. Mm. You can taste sweet. candle in that rice. Try taste like candles, but. You can taste candle. <laughs> Man, for once, I'm I'm lost for words. I can't describe this. I can't actually describe this at all. What it tastes like. It's an interesting taste. I can't say I've eaten anything like it. No, never. Right. These. The c o o l turn it. These are pretty funky. I could eat like a bag of these with a couple of beers. We're getting very, very sweet though. But the water's super, super refreshing. I don't think so. Mm. Mm. Oh, my favourite ones is sweet, salty turnip. That's what I like. Yeah. Mmm. Mm. Yeah, the pickled turnip. Mm. Or whatever it is. Turnip radish, same, same thing. Lovely. Top, top, top dish. And this is the sort of dish that was passed down from generation to generation. So the story goes that before you could cook this, you'd have to like just be in the kitchen and learn from your mother for years and years and years to get the rice perfect before they let you loose on the stove. It's the taste of a candle, but you know when you blow it out and all the smoke goes. You sort of yeah, breathe yeah, it in. It's kind of like that. Which is candle smoke makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah. 
candles and stingray. Who would have thought it? <laughs> bye bye. Go on, go. Let on. Go on, go. Sorry, go. Bye bye. Look, there's just nothing not to love about this town. It's like stepping back in time. Everyone's super friendly. Thirty uh, cup. Oh, put and get king ma. It's like it, the, I, I don't think I've been to a town like this in all honesty. So old school. Thirty cup. What's that? That's that's Ramanani. He was a jazz player, wasn't he? So there's a depiction of Pumipol, the melody king. I'm telling you guys. He knows everything. <laughs> Get over to his channel, you're going to learn something, all right? He's not just walking about going, oh, I'm so shocked. I'm shocked at everything, mate. I'm actually genuinely shocked at how much knowledge you've got about Thailand. All right, this is what I wanted to show you guys. So they've, someone's taken the time out of their day to hand paint a map with the numbers again, but this time, this time it's all in English as well. So it's got all the main spots in Peppery, maybe like up, Peppery, and yeah, two minute walk, 170 meters, one minute walk, 15 meters. It's like it's even telling you how far you've got to go. This is like the perfect tourist town ever. There is absolutely no way that this is going to be my only video on Peppery. But if you want to see some more just general travel stuff, make sure you get over, check out Ellis's, check out JB's video from today, because we went to some salt plains as well on the way down. Uh, we stopped at a couple of places, stopped at a beach. So I'm just going to be covering the food, but you guys check their channel out, please. It's really, really good. Both of them are really, really good. I would say that, wouldn't I, because I'm standing next to them. But now we're going to Jenny. Jenny? Cab. For some very unique noodles. So from the market, you want to come down, you want to turn right, you're going to... Ah, so you're going to see this sign here, and that's for Pani, down by the riverside, a prime spot for a bowl of handmade noodles. So I just found out that this has been open for 60 years, and look at the spot, I cannot explain to you... <laughs> I just can't explain to you how much I love this place. For use for days, mate. Look at this. So look, this is the noodle shop we're going to eat in in a minute, although she just looked at me like she wanted to kill me. And then look at this for a view. There's actually a guy diving over there for something. Let's see if we can get him. Is he going to come back up? Or is he a goner? There he is. This place is special. It is, isn't it? Sounds like this, so underrated. It's criminal. I know. Unbelievable, isn't it? It is unreal. <laughs> All right, guys, there's just too much food to eat here. So I've already decided I'm going to make this into a two, maybe three parter. So this is just going to be part one because there is so much to explore in this town, which could be my new favorite. Yeah. <laughs> Jimmy's showing a picture of his father-in-law, he was 94, he was from this area. Finley. Come here. Oh. oh. Wow, so they're handmade. I've had these in Bangkok, but I've never had them handmade. These are some of my favourites. Uh, our kway teow tom yam. Our tom yam pet pet. Pet pet. Pet pet. Pet pet. Pet pet. Pet my pet, my gin, nah. My me pet, my gin.
เอาเอาเอาเอาหมูแดงเอาหมูสับอย่างเดียวนะครับหมูแดงกับหมูสับไม่ไม่ไม่เอาหวานนะไม่ใส่ไม่ใส่กระเทียมเอากระเทียมไม่ชอบหวานนะใส่ไม่เอาหวานไม่เอาหวานเอาไม่ใส่โอเคไม่ใส่โอเคอร่อยนะปลาอร่อยนะอร่อยนะปลาอร่อยโอเคเอาครับใส่ทุกอย่างใส่ปลาลวกให้ลวกดูในนี้มีแล้วลวกให้ลอลอนได้ไดครับเอาเยอะๆครับก็เคี่ยวกินกระเทียมชมมากเลยโอเคครับมาแกงกระจานเฮ้ยเห็นเลิกกันนี่ for a view guys ก๋วยเตี๋ยวที่นี่อร่อยมากขายมาแล้วอันนี้อร่อยอันนี้อร่อยอร่อยที่สุดในโลกขายมาอร่อยที่สุดในเพชรบุรีไหมใช่ไหมจริงขายมาแล้วถลายห้าสิบปีห้าสิบปีเหรอหกสิบปีหกสิบปีโอ้ยหกสิบปีเหรอยาพรมของเพชรบุรีกอที่นี่อร่อยที่สุดอร่อยที่สุดในโลกเป็นแฟนนะแฟนนะแฟนไหมเป็นแฟนไม่ใช่ไม่ใช่มีอยู่ไม่มีรู้แล้วไม่เป็นไม่ครับรู้ไหมที่หลังที่หลังมาก็มากินที่นี่อร่อยที่สุดที่พูดนับบ่าวว่าไรส์เนี่ยนับบ่าวว่าครับ So we've got all right, guys. So we've got rice noodles. Uh, they're really, really soft, really squidgy. I love these, and I've never seen them handmade. That is unbelievable. Hand minced more sap, which is, uh, as you know, minced pork. I forgot the name in English for a second. More dang, which is the red char siu pork. We've got some Chinese celery, some pak chi, and a bit of lettuce. Now I've I've just tasted that, and it is pretty special, but. For me, as you know, guys. Oh, look at the color of this chili. This pig bun, pig galian. So I'm gonna make this tom yum myself. Baka, baka. Say pig dong, do I? Say pig dong, ma? Pig galian. Okay. Cup. So these these are the local Karen chilies that I was telling you guys about. They're probably birds, I mean. Bush. Now that's what I'm talking about. And for the person that's going to say, "Oh, too much chili in my," and too much vinegar in my comments, this is a f you. Yum yum yum. Okay. Oh, llama, llama, llama. Mate, I'm telling you now. I knew this town was special, mate, but this has got to go down as the friendliest town in Thailand, isn't it? I agree. I totally agree. I've never felt, ever felt unwelcome here in 20. This is mental. I've never known anything like this. They are so welcoming, so friendly. What? Yeah. It's mad. It's madness, isn't it? Everyone's fighting to pay for us. All right, guys. This is another one of them ones. I don't even care if this is the worst bowl of noodles I've ever eaten. I'm gonna love it. Mm. 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 This, I promise you, like I go to a beef noodle shop and I have like pig dong, which is basically the same thing, but and they ferment that for four months, yeah, and it doesn't taste anything like this. This is, I've never tasted anything like this before in my life. You know what you're saying is about some things smelling off. Mm -hmm. Smell that. It smells off. It's been fermented, so it's a fermented chili sauce. So it's got that real sort of funky. Called almost alcoholic flavor. That is on another level. Like I might have gone a little bit OTT with it. But just before when I tasted it, the broth itself, clean, pure pork bone goodness. I'll try the fish cake, which I don't like, but she said I have to eat it regardless. Mm. Yeah, it's not bad. That's very good, actually. Do you reckon to them noodles, mate? They're class. I've had these. There's a couple of Thai Chinese places in Bangkok that do these, but yeah. not homemade. Right. These are homemade. So, and also you've got kind of like the the flour because they're flour noodles. You've got like the starch from the noodles mm. when she's cooked them. 
sort of thickening up the broth a little bit. A little bit like when you use pasta water at home when you finish your pasta, you know, you throw chucking a bit of pasta water. These are fucking incredible. Right, let's have a do on these noodles that Gary says taste almost off now he's thrown. What are these chilies? Sorry about that. They're like the lo they're just the local chilies, they're like a local bird's eye variety. Like Karen. Karen, sorry, Karen Galian. Karen, the mountain people. Mmm, it smells great. It smells really interesting. Let's just try let's try a few of the noodles as well, because I've never eaten noodles like this. This is the first time for me. Mmm. That's delicious. That is so delicious. It's a little bit sour, isn't it? it? Gives you like a strange sour taste. I'm just gonna try this chili on its own to see what they actually taste like. Mm. Just get a little bit of that. Mm. It tastes alcoholic, doesn't it? Mm. It's really nice, but it tastes off. It's the only way I can describe it, like fermented, yeah. like, fermented, yeah. like mm, a bit fizzy, a little bit fizzy. They're quite yeah. surprised watching you do that. They're, those two over there watching going, wow, that's really hot. Look what you're oh, doing. Oh, no, no. Just out of spoon. My, my ped, my alloy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I love that. That's delicious. All right, guys, I have decided this is, there's no way this can be my only video of peppery. So I'm going to come back next week. I'm going to hit a couple more stops that we could have hit today. If you want to see some, I know a lot of you in the comments are going to say, especially my Thai viewers, you should have got the peppery custard we are going to go and get it now but i'm probably not going to film it so if you want to see that get over to jimmy's channel and edison's channel they'll be having that on theirs i just want to finish this by saying it is so refreshing to come to a place where everyone is so so friendly and everyone is still cooking and making their food to traditional recipes using ingredients that is native to their own area because in a world of globalization you see it in bangkok so much i don't want to badger you guys with this but it really really troubles me and i'm going to do a couple of videos on this but every week in bangkok there's a new chain restaurant popping up and there's a new you know 7-eleven popping up gas station popping up with the usual suspects of starbucks etc etc another local place closing that and a lot of the local places now in bangkok are just using packet sauces and ready-made cheap sauces and powders to try and keep costs down which i understand but when you come somewhere like this and you just see them still you know treating the recipes with the respect that they deserve passed down through the generations it is so refreshing to see it like absolutely love it this has definitely become one of my favorite towns i've ever visited in thailand i i implore you to come and try this beautiful riverside town out for yourself or stick links of course with all the places we went today in the description box below and also stick links to jimmy's channel and to ellis's channel please go over and subscribe to those guys they've got really really good channels oh i'm in such a good mode I'm just, i hope this is shining through how much i absolutely love this place probably is because i've said it about 400 times i'm gonna leave it there i've rambled on enough and i will see you guys in fun i can make up